We head to the Palace of Auburn Hills in Detroit, Michigan, as the Pistons and Cavaliers do battle in Game 5. Rashid Wallace receiving the NBA Community Assist Award. This series is tied at two apiece. And here's Rashid Wallace, knocks down the jumper. that gave the Pistons the early lead by a point. Their largest lead in this game would be just three. Here's LeBron James, seat down, flush. After one, game tied at 20. We move to the second quarter, Richard Hamilton. That cut the Cavs lead to three at 36-33. Later in the second, with the Cavs up by three, it's LeBron window shopping. 22 points in the first half for Bron Bron, as the Cavs led by five, 42-37. More LeBron. At the half, Cavs up by five at 50-45. The second half starts with the third quarter. That's where we'll head with Chauncey Billups. 14 points in the second half, 17 in the game, as the Cavs lead was seven at 58-51. Moore, LeBron James, the only three-pointer of the game for Bron Bron. He had 32 points in the game as the Cavs led by 10. Richard Hamilton capping a 13-3 Pistons run. That tied it at 66 after three. Cavs by two, 68-66. Fourth quarter, Antonio McDice, a big shot. He was huge for the Pistons after Rashid Wallace sat with five personal fouls and a tech. It was tied at 77, and then Damon Jones, the three-pointer and the foul. He missed the free throw, but the Cavs led by three. Antonio McDice ties the game at 84. He had 11 points, 11 rebounds off the bench. Yeah, baby. Nice pass from James down low to Drew Gooden. That put the Cavs up 86-84. A chance to tie for Detroit. Danielle Marshall swats Tayshawn Prince. But another chance to tie. 1.9 seconds to go. And Rip Hamilton loses the ball out of bounds as the Pistons lose the game. 86-84. And for the first time in Cleveland Cavaliers history, they've won three straight playoff games as they take the series lead. Three games to two. Game six is Friday on ESPN. Detroit's first loss at home this postseason.